<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you all may call me Pharaoh, and welcome back to Let's Play Sea of Stars. Last time we left off, we lost our good friend Garl, and he did so much. He awoke the sleeper of his plan, and that apparently is now going to allow the Sky Council to, uh, allow us to access a sea of stars. <laughs> Excuse me. I know I mentioned at the ending of the last part that I was going to, like, uh, maybe look around and go to Brisk and all that, but really, I, I was more so doing so because I was afraid, or thinking that, because I was afraid I was going to get to the point of, like, no return. But I, then I kept thinking, I was like, there's so many areas we've yet to see yet, because we need something we can fly, I assume, and we're still a decent amount of collectibles still. So I think we're still a little ways off, so I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and continue the story. And Yolanda says we can go right now to the Sky Console, let's go ahead and do so. Um, here we are. Nice little shortcut right, right off the bat. Oh, actually, do I have anything to sell? Hmm. Let me go to the, uh, merchant here really quick. I don't think I do, but it's just worth a shot. Uh... Oh, man, there's even... I didn't even think about that. His stuff we're no longer gonna need. Oh... I guess we don't need it anymore. I feel like an ass kind of selling this, but... Really? That's better for... What's her name? Okay. Just double check we have everything else. Uh... Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's just plus three. Um physical defense, but it's something. It's better overall, so... Okay. Here you are. Back to 315 gold. Oops. Okay. So, with that being said and done, I guess, uh... We'll have to hear... Well, actually, we didn't even speak to this giant. Could have lit us. Walking the sleeper. Waking the sleeper. That sounds risky, no? I mean, would it, for you guys, would it be troublesome, considering you guys are giants? You can take on Wentworth, can't you? You have returned. We are sorry about the passing of your friend. Our world has lost a kind soul indeed. Thank you. Wentworth isn't back there. Hi! The sleeper's been soothed and has awoken. As you can see, if you just turn around, you'll see him. So it has. You would claim the reward, then? Yes. We demand access to the Sea of Stars. Are you prepared for the voyage? We are. Do they know what to expect? We don't know what the Sea of Stars even is. It is the name of the game, you idiot. It's the very passage you seek in order to see this journey through. It lies at the core of our world. The in infinitely great within the infinitely small. How do we get to it? We shall get to that in one due time. First, all travelers must be registered. Please gather your group. Honorable Consul, if you could make an exception, I would like to go as Captain Cliché. My crew, they... We will allow it. Thank you. Okay, let's gather everyone and form a line. What is even going on? They gotta be registered? What? I didn't know it was such a formal process. Present yourselves, travelers. Solar Blade Dancer Zale. Next. Lunar Monk Valer. Next. 
Next. <laughs> Don't even bother. It's like, no. Pirate Captain Cliche. Next. I will travel across the Sea of Stars. My name is not Keenathan. Roll in name, please. Oh, um, Pirate Wind Mage Keenathan. The error must be on your uh, must be our end. We will disregard it. Error? What? Pirate Quartermaster Jacko will trade. Next. Didn't even know his name was Jack. Okay, it sounded like she farted with that. Pirate first mate Yolande Ernest, well meaning demolition, busy lookout, practicality, anytime service, fort wall. So she wasn't kidding when she said everything was her middle name. Okay. Found her. <laughs> Next. Ghost Navigator Hortense. Already clear from a previous trip. Next. Traveling Story Antiques. All clear. Solon. You are the leader of this group. Yes. We hereby grant you access to the Sea of Stars. Allow us. I'm so curious what the Sea of Stars actually is. I thought I just thought it was gonna be like outer space, but like they're making it sound like it's something like super duper like holy crap different. Okay. Well, wait a minute. Sea of Stars is it literal? Is it like it's straight up like it's it's a sea? Huh. The four sunken giants mark the entrance. Now go, and sail away to where you, you are most needed. Thank you. We will use this gift to bring about peace. Godspeed. Okay. I mean, I gotta tell you guys, I am so, like, not lost, just curious. Especially now with Sarai and even, like, her crew members. Because didn't they... They kept kind of mentioning the Sea of Stars, but then Captain Cliche or Sarai would just stop them. Like, hey, no. But if that's the case, wouldn't they know that she's Sarai? Like, I... I'm thinking about this too damn hard, and, like, I shouldn't. But I, I, I guess it only took us 29 episodes, but we're gonna see the namesake of the game. We're gonna go to the Sea of Stars. I, frankly, with that name, I thought they were literally gonna talk about like traveling in outer space somehow because like, it's the Sea of Stars. Like it's the stars in the sky. It looks like a sea of them, you know. But no, the fact like it's literal. I guess I'm just dumb that I never really put it two and two together. We'll see. We'll see how this uh, ends up playing out. But uh, I'm excited. I. I I'm just upset that, of course, Garl cannot be here. Um, yeah, so we, we are on the ship. You know what? Hold on a minute. You know, I just noticed something. It says enter boat. Did I never do that before? Like, ever? Like, after we got it? Like, we can save and all that. But I don't think I've actually just looked around after we've taken this place. Got to treat her well. We can set sail. We need to. Like, it would tell us, though, if there's, like, items or stuff we can grab here, right? I don't know. I'm getting, I'm getting a little worried considering, like, there's stuff here. No, I guess not. I'm going to go down below, too, but... Yeah, I don't know. I just never bothered to... Uh, I never really noticed that. We have our own merchant, too? We've got all the supplies we need. Oh, never mind. You just... Okay. Is 
So yeah, look at that. Okay, wait, what? Oh, wow. Okay, I didn't know this. You know what? Actually, they may have spoken about this. Did I? Maybe I checked it. I can't remember now. Look at that. No deaths so far. I mean, yeah, I've fallen a few times, but no game over, straight up. Uh, a lot of that time was probably, like, lingering, you know, because I let the game just kind of, like, hang as I was recording or, like, editing and all that. But a lot of these feats are basically what... They're, they're basically some of the achievements we got. 17 out of 42. Actually, that might be it. Yeah, that, I think they're just, they're, the feats are just the achievements and trophies. Bring all the conscious to Myrna. So like, we got 35 out of 60. That's how much we brought to her. Now we have like 40-something. Yeah, we have four more fish to catch. Okay, so that's also a nice way to kind of keep track of certain stuff. Okay. Now, it, it doesn't tell us... Every, like which recipes we cooked or how many combos we got. Now look at this. It does tell us how many. There's 187 pieces of treasure in the game. We're still missing 60. Damn. All right. That is very interesting. Sweeping is a full-time job, but the second I'm done, it's worth starting over. Okay. Are you meditating? Nah, I'm not gonna sleep. They're saving. We can cook. That looks kind of delicious. Huh. I don't know. I wonder where Garl would have been. He probably would have been in the kitchen. I'm glad I joined the crew. The air was always so good. I'm so sorry for your loss. Yolanda's the best boss I've ever had. That's nice. W Wheels! Holy crap, is this where one of them has been? I didn't even realize that. Lots of old stuff we may or may not need. Valtteri says I can I can figure it out on my own. Ahoy, fancy a game of wheels? Oh, you're the champion? All right, here we go. So, this is the first attempt. Maybe I'll get lucky like my uh, other attempt where I just really just... Um, it, it was nice. The... the uh, uh, when I played uh, Wheels against the Sky Giant. So, I'm going to use my try and true uh, combo here. Crap, so I forgot. So he's going to build walls. Do I need to focus on building walls? I, I forgot. I'm trying to remember how high the archer hits. So the archer flies a height of three units. Hitting the crown with a when the bulwark is at, is at two or less. So I do gotta build the wall a little bit. Oh, wow. Um, just so I can secure the... Ah, uh, he's gonna build the damn wall. Well... At least I got some upgrades in. That's something. Do that, do that, and do that. Let's get rid of the wall. Let's see if we get a better thing here. That's the same. They're gonna build again. So this might be a little troublesome, but we'll see. We'll build... Grab that. And we'll act. They're gonna build again. This thing sucks. At least we got upgraded a little bit. Alright. Kinda would like the archer to do a little bit more, but let's... Or the mage. Okay. I feel iffy about this, but we'll see how it works. Grab those. Uh, do I need to... 
Actually, I think I need to build at least one, like a one more unit. Oh, he just tore it down, that piece of crap. I forgot what he does, too. Lots of decent upgrades. Are you going to knock down the wall? Yes, you can. Oh, wow. Okay. Um... Oh, that was a perfect one. Okay, good. And they're not going to get the build. Oh, I'm just going to hit them really hard. Never they built. I keep forgetting the damn thing builds. I was going to hit them hard, too. Actually, I still will. I think I just won. I got lucky. All right. First try again. Well, you went and did it. Congratulations. Here's your prize. There's the assassin figurine. Okay. So now we have all the figurines, but we're still missing the platinum wheel. So that's another thing I'm thinking about. Like, it almost seems like there's going to be, like, maybe at least another place we can go, or maybe within a sea of stars, where um, we're going to find a little bit more. So I, I guess it all kind of works out. Yeah, because we're just missing the platinum wheels, and that's that. Uh, where am I at? Oops. <laughs> it's just me. The music got, like, really epic. God, that looks so cool. Can you imagine this game was, like, built in the same capacity as, like, like current Final Fantasy, it's like a triple A creation, like like realistic graphics and all that. Who knows? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna get we're getting flushed into the sea of stars. I guess. Maybe not. Where am I? It says I'm still here. We're we're in we're in the way to the sea of stars. So I could go there to the left. Frankly, uh, no, that's all I can go to. Trek to the center of the world. What? Y you know, with the music and everything? And the vibes? I'm getting, like, Celeste things going on here. This is really cool. Of course there's there's still going to be enemies here. Uh-oh. I'm fighting bubbles. So this thing is... Okay, we know it's weak against lunar magic. That's fine. This Gagoon doesn't say anything. It's, it only has 11, but I'm still iffy about it. So let's do this. Let's break this lock. I was able to hit one. Wait a minute. We've seen these before. Oh! I was like, yeah, wait a minute. I was like, these enemies look a little familiar. They're, they're just like celestial bubble versions. Okay. I'm hoping this Gagoon will go down easily. We'll see. Because I think all I did was like, I, I just would physically attack it and like that was it. It may not do anything with uh, with this Moonerang, but we'll see. 407, dear god. Yeah, I just gotta attack it normally. Okay. So it's not technically new enemies. It's just like 
different version of these enemies. How are we gonna get back up? I just realized we're like falling really deep. Uh, they said like into the center of the world too, like. Oh boy, okay, hold on a minute. What now? So we have, we have the Woodland Spirit. Kununuku Zacolite. I don't even know we fought that thing before, and then also this this thing going freaking crazy. So everybody is weak to our magic. Well, this thing's weak against poison. So here's what I like to do. I don't want I don't want all these things to use its uh stupid uh, stuff on us. So I'm gonna break at least one of the locks. Oh, okay. Well, you're you're down anyway. Thunder. Maybe we did fight him. I just can't remember. Oh, this kind of seems like a really nice respite from what we've been going through recently. And it's just me or I think their gradients are changing too. Like, there's like a lot going on here. Okay. This is really cool. Crap, I didn't... I just... Why, why did I do that? That was kind of a waste. It, it's okay. Thunder doesn't hurt that much. Oh, it heals. That's still not really a big deal. Well, I... Could do Mending Light to get a little bit of, uh, healing coming back to us. Now, granted, we're gonna get hit right after this. Unless he heal- unless he does another heal himself. Ow. Okay, well. That was a waste. It's fine. Still kind- still kind of decent experience, too, so. Alright. Further down we go, and somehow our legs don't break every single time, even though we we fall in the water, but that still has to hurt from all the way up there. Uh, we got... What do you see called? Like a, a Loon Loon Zon Lon Lon or something? Lon Zon, there you go. So that's solar magic, and then poison. Uh, frankly, I remember the Lon Zon being stupid with that, uh... With his munching attack. There. I would use her thing that cleared off, but it's... I think we'll be okay. There we go. You know, I just realized too, now that Garl is gone, like, I was excited for, like, the, well, that latest level up, too. Oh, man. Man, Garl. The Sea of Stars. Holy crap, they weren't kidding. So, it, it's, it doesn't show up in the world map, per se, like... I really, I, I was thinking the exact opposite. I thought it wasn't literally like the like in the sky, but no, like it looks like it, but we're underneath everything. What? What is this? Oh, that is beautiful. Oh my god. I guess I'm going towards the light. Oh man. But how do I know there's nothing else around me though? Like, I really would like to check. Oh, is this kind of like an infinite thing? Yeah, I guess it is. I just want to make sure there's like no other platforms or whatever, but... Yeah, like, it, it didn't matter where we were going, we just kept, uh... Whatever this ball of light is... It was always like right here. Okay, I, I, I hope there's, like, nothing I'm missing here, but... Okay. Hello? 
Do I gotta keep doing that until it leads me in the right direction or something? Oh, ugh, I can just... If it was me, I'd be throwing up like crazy. What? Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that is... Can you... Did the ship turn 3D? What is... What is going on? I broke reality. Okay. What the hell? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I... Wouldn't that wouldn't have been like such a huge surprise if the game turns into a 3D RPG without us knowing? That was so odd. Where the hell did I go? How far from home are we? I imagine super far? Like, I don't know what just happened. We literally broke through something? Like, it's so damn dark, too. I can barely see. There better not be treasure in here. I'm basically using, like, some of the, like, fog to, like. What is this? Is this, like, is this gonna be, like, super technical place? Whoa. This is. This kind of screams Chrono Trigger. Intruder alert. Oh, no. Entities from another world have breached the compound. Commencing elimination. Watch out! Wait a minute. <laughs> they remixed the damn boss thing to make it look sound like futuristic. Wow, okay, I, even, holy crap, like, even, like, the layout is a little, like, more modern, like, just the color palette. Guys, I love this so much. All right, let's break its locks, though. We have, we have to bring out Roshan, though, to uh, break, uh, get rid of the arcane. I don't even know what I'm playing anymore. Uh, all right. No, 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 crap. We need to use this. What am I even fighting, by the way? Guardian. Okay. Um. Let's put the lunar shield on us. Oh crap, you know, I, I probably should have waited until Zale was with us. I don't know if I want Roshan, but... Ah, whatever. Ouch, that really hurt! We have two. Let's go for another boost. Ugh. Well, we're not gonna break this lock in time. Might as well try lowering the power a little bit. Down to 67. That's something. I'm sure there's I'm sure there there has to be like combos and skills that we have that we can do this with, but or like properly break the locks all the time, but it's okay. Oh, Freaking fudge tastic. Taser grip. Okay. Not bad. Uh, I'll swap you out. So, what are these? Drones. Don't know what the hell they're weak against, unfortunately. 
let's do Sunball. And yeah, let's do it right in the middle so all of them get hit. Didn't do too much. Grab this. Do a Moonerang. I'm loving this. I feel like the game took a weird ass turn, but. Oh, that was terrible. That was dumb. Why I. That is what it is. Build back your stuff, please. Oh, he's on his 100%. I just realized that. Power shot. Oh, Sarai. Ooh. Ouch. Let's see. I can hold off to get three. I think I might do that for the combo. We also got to try out... Actually, you know what? We also got to try out to see how uh, if we can get the ultimate skill for uh, Valer or Zale. See how well that's going to work out. I'm glad I did that. New. No. I could have done better. Quite frankly, let's swap you out really quick so we can use um, abeyance to break the lock. Okay. Oh, it's almost down. And we we have to go for this. Ooh, and our ultimate is ready. So if we don't destroy this thing right now, we should use it on somebody. Beautiful. Frankly, I was expecting a, I was expecting a trophy out of that. This place seems so advanced. There's nothing like this mentioned in any records. Huh? Hmm? What? It's such a simple, I think, twist, but never would I have thought of it that she was an android this entire time? Maybe that does explain the wall climbing thing she did when we were fighting the Dweller of Torment. <laughs> Not just physics. Welcome to my world. Now, I would do a voice modulizer or something like that, but screw it. We desperately need you. Who would have thought part two? Yeah, that one I didn't see. Learn Sarai's true identity. Sarai? Why didn't you tell us? I couldn't find the words. Would you have stuck around if you knew? Of course! We'd, been, uh, we'd be nowhere without you. My world fell to the Fleshmancer a very long time ago. It's completely lost. Up above, Sky Base produces nasty clouds that prevent sunlight from reaching the surface. And the moon, he sank into the ocean. Huh! Do you understand? The moon and sun disconnected. No more children of the solstice. Will you help? You know we will. Where do we begin? By visiting my home. I've been away for far too long. My people. Are they... Like me? Yes. One by one, we were turned into cyborgs by the wicked Catalyst, a sentient evil machine. 
Cursed by immortality in this form, my people linger helplessly while the Dweller of Dread slowly feeds on their souls. Wait, Dweller of Dread? There's another... Well, there is, this is a new world, isn't it? So I guess it isn't so far-fetched that there's a whole nother dweller. Sarai, I, I'm so sorry. You can help. This is exactly why I left. To find Solstice Warriors. To find you. If we can remove the clouds, the moon will shine again. Then the Dweller of Dread will be made vulnerable. We will cleanse your world. I swear it. I swear it too. Thank you. Getting the sky base won't be easy, but a lead might be might uh, might have been found while I was away. Let's make for Repine. I think it's Repine, my hometown. I want I want to show you what we are fighting here for. Oh, never mind. What about the Fleshmancer? His lair lies in a flowing, flying piece of land. I have absolutely no idea how to get there. Okay, well, first things first. Let's visit your place. Rapine is on Cerulean Island, east of the exit from here. The derelict factory might pose a challenge, but I suppose we've been through worse. All right, lead the way. And now she's... not covered up anymore. Wow, that... I don't even know what to say. Yeah, like everything changed with her. Okay, holy crap, I love this stuff. I I, I really do. Even if it does seem out of left field, because like, you know, I, I was just mentioning I love the fantasy of this world and and all that. Some advanced technology that seems to be the norm in Sarai's world. But I also like it when they do things like this, where it's like, wow, they're introducing like newer stuff. And it, you can tell... You can feel the Chrono Trigger vibes from this because it was kind of the same. You know, when you travel in the future here uh, here and there, like, where, where Lavos totally destroyed it. Some kind of technology displaying shapes made of light. This is just awesome. I have a feeling some people may not care for this as much. They're like, oh, look what they did, but... I, I'm I'm fond of it. Is everybody's uh, stuff okay? Yes. Okay. So, is that the purpose of the Sea of Stars? We can travel to different... Oh, uh, fishing. We can travel to different worlds? So, it's not, like, just here. Wow. 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 I was right. Like, w when we explored everything, I was thinking, I'm like, I was like, you know, guys, I was like, is this, is this going to be the entirety of the world? Or maybe it's just what we have now. It's literally a whole new world to explore. Speedball Network Station? Whoa. Like, Technology. What the hell? Sacroscant or Sacrosanct Spires? The Fleshmancer's Lair? Wow, like. Well, Roshan did mention to Ephoral or like the Fleshmancer to like, listen, they're like, they're gonna find out your lair sooner or later. And he's like, ah, yeah, no, they're not. Well, surprise, bitch! <laughs> Look at this. Now, we can't get there. Solstice Island Shrine. I mean, Solstice Shrine Island, so we gotta fly in there somehow. But the fact, like, it's like a, it's like a futuristic... Like, post-apocalyptic area. Like, they said this catalyst turned them all into these cyborgs. What the... Is that the moon? <laughs> Infinite Abyss? Wow. Like, this catalyst, like, that thing... Like, how the hell even turn them into cyborgs like that? What the fudge is going on there? Oh, wait, no, that's where we need to go. 
This is Cerulean Island. So what's up here? Sky base. Now they're saying sky base is what's like raining down the stupid clouds over there. So like, okay. What? Look, what? I if somebody told me like, hey, this this scene is from Sea of Stars. I would have said you're lying to me. What is this? Okay. Well, we know where we need to go. That's Cerulean Island. Guess where I'm going. Oh, wow. That that screams... F oh, how the hell did I miss this? Yeah, that screams Fleshmancer uh, Lair, all right. Okay. Well, I'm going to check out everything besides Cerulean Island. Starting off with this little place first. What is it called? Speedball Network Station? Speedball? Like, that's how... Is that, is that their sport? Found a data strip? Oh god, what what is that all about? It's not a key item? It's not a key item, what the hell would it be? Oh, is it a valuable no, what the wait, what a fudge, where is it? Oh, it's for oh, Jesus right here. With enough strips, a cipher could be created. Okay. I don't know what they're talking about, but all right. A world without sun. This is, okay, this pisses me off a little bit more because Garl isn't here to see all this, damn it. Like, that that's what's bothering me. Like, like he can't... God, he would have loved this. <laughs> I know he's like, it's a game and all that, but... It just makes me that much more upset. Uh, actually, I don't think we can do anything here. Yeah, I, I thought I can go down, whatever, but I guess we'll come here after. So that's that. We can't go to this island, so... Sacroscant Spires, though? I mean, can we do anything here? I thought I saw a port. Yeah. This might be a little too soon as well, but we'll see what happens. I mean, typically they wouldn't allow us to go much further if we... Yeah, see, what the hell is that? There's something blocking our way there. Hmm. And we can't use a cobalt hammer or anything else. So yeah, this is completely blocked off until later. Is this, is this supposed to be the campfire? That, okay, even the campfire looks futuristic. Um, okay, nah. The, I figured, but like, I, I wanted to double check to see like, hey, can we actually do more in here? But it even tells us like, yeah, there's things we can grab. Obviously not from the way of the Sea of Stars or the Abyss. Um, yeah, there's fishing left. This might be the left. The, the hell? That was weird. I was pushing left and... Or no, I was pushing right and they were going left. Hmm. So this also might be the last... I Remember how I was mentioning, like, okay, there, there might be, like, a whole other area because we need another wheels thing and, like, fishing. This is probably it. So here we are. Going... Starting a derelict factor. Don't know how long this is going to take. I'm assuming this is going to be like, you know, first area of dungeon, whatever, regarding this area, but. Oh, man. I know we're like getting kind of close to an hour, but we'll see what we can do. I'll save again. I like. Oh, oh okay. Is that what I was supposed to do? Okay, hold on, hold on. Like, if you told me this game was going to turn in this direction, straight up would not have believed you. Hmm. 
You can see it moving a little bit. Hold on. What happens if I... Did I, did I even bother examining this up here? It's locked, but it looks like the roof is accessible. Okay. So how the hell do I open it? I thought like maybe I can jump down or... Am I missing something here? I, don't, I can't jump down. Oh, wait. There's a little bit more up here. There you go. I was like, how do I... Okay. Well, this is interesting. <laughs> I found a recipe for sashimi. All right. What does that do exactly? It might be... Actually, there it is. Uh, sashimi. 155 HP to an ally? Now, see, this is why we got all the fishing. See? See? If it all fit. As fresh as food can be. 155 HP to an ally. Music, though. Before I go in that door, what is this all about? Oh, that's what turned everything on. I can go further down. Ah, okay, that just opens up that. Alright. I guess we can explore. This is so weird. But I love it. You guys know I'm I'm a sucker for anything like technological, cyberpunk, whatever. So, seeing it in games like this, and they're pulling it off super well. Oh yeah, I, I'm enjoying it. Doo -doo -doo. I figured that was gonna happen, period. Okay. So, what are these? Turrets. Bunch of freaking turrets. Uh... Rashad? There you go. Now it sucks, Garl would have been the other, like, blunt force user, and he's just not here anymore. So this is probably gonna hurt. That is such a build-up. Heat spin! Jeez. I get like a little iffy. I'm like, what the hell's going on? Well, at least one turn's down. Uh, please get, get rid of this. There we go. Why am I not blocking that anymore? Jeez. So we'll go ahead and just, uh, there we go, get rid of that. I blocked the first one, now I can't do it again. Sarai, I'm gonna need you, I mean, Valer, break this lock. Now, the unfortunate thing is I'm not gonna be able to break that one in time. I don't think so, anyway. I mean, should I? Now, they're not close to one another, so... I, I did that because that was the immediate danger. I was like, I might as well, you know, take care of that. It all worked out. Uh, not in terms of healing. Yeah, they can definitely use it. Well, Roshan, that's what you're here for. If we're not going to really be using you much, because... I don't know how much magic is useful here, because of everything that's happened. 
so it might be a little interesting to see how this goes. All right, so that opened up that. I would like to get up there if possible. Actually, wait, how do I? Oh, I have to do this. Like, I, I move the transfer point. There we go. That's why I was a little bit confused. Uh, here, what's, what's in you? Wire plate armor. Who's that for? Hmm, okay, it's for either or. Um, it's more balanced for... Valer, and frankly, probably it's better that she has it considering her stats are her base stats are lower as is. So I'll give it to her. We're missing out on five physical defense for, um, you know, we're missing out five def physical defense for Zale, but Van's okay. And we just got this volcanic armor. Like, we, we barely had fun with any of this stuff until, like, hey, here's newer things. All right. And yeah, you, I mean, we're. Stuck with sky armor. Okay. This. Like, I'm still kind of shocked how. This is how it turned out. Like. I got just a complete 180 from what I was expecting. Uh. Yeah, I guess I can go ahead and. Utilize this. Don't think I need to cook. Like, there's something so engaging in, like, certain games that you really don't want to put it down, you know? And there were times, like, especially when I was younger, like, I would, like, skip meals and whatnot to play a game because I was, like, uh, I was so intrigued in whatever the hell I was doing. Obviously, it's not healthy for you at all, um, and I rarely do anything like that nowadays. I, um, maybe when Tears of the Kingdom came out, there were a few times where I couldn't sleep. And I would actually wake up to play like an hour or so of it just to kind of mess around or do something extra, but like it's very rare for me to like put in like a whole bunch of effort into a game unless I'm streaming it, LPing it, or recording it, but even then that can be rare depending on my availability. It looks like a device would fit here. Okay. Did I push this already? Elevator offline. Kyber mesh battery required. Please use laser crane for safe handling. What the? I, I just feel like they're just taking, like, cool-sounding things. Like, let's just slap it together. Let's do a laser crane and a kyber mesh handling. It's like, what now? Okay. What does this do? ID cards required to operate the crane. Of course it does. Because it can't be that damn easy, now can it? <laughs> So I guess we can avoid these. Jesus, like the it, the pattern is erratic. Yeah, the pattern is like super, super erratic. Um, mm. horse, horse mech. Is that some, okay? Whatever. Now it is weak to arcane and blunt. Um, here's what I'm gonna do. I want to break its lock. I'll do a Venom Flurry on this, and then we'll, we'll use a Moon Ring afterwards. Oh, it actually took it down. Okay. I was expecting a little bit more. I'm actually surprised that thing's weak, too. That was a weird place to put meat. I'm actually a little surprised, uh, like, the arcane magic was... Uh, or it's weak against it. I'd imagine it wouldn't be. I imagine much magic wouldn't be. But here we are. Alright, man. We're definitely getting a lot of use out of uh, Sarai, which I guess makes sense. This is her home world, right? So, like, she would know how to fight against these enemies and what to do what, so...
Good. And what do we got? Dairy, because why not? Sarai, you can do one more. See, this is why I, I focus on the MPs because... The MP points, because if we use it a lot, we can just do it one after another without having to build up, you know... Without having to rebuild our uh, MP. That was bad. Such a long wind-up. I think I'll be able to destroy all of them. We'll see how this works. It's gonna level up soon as well. What's in here? I got a crane operator ID. Perfect. So what does this do then? Kyber mesh battery printer missing components. We need a blueprint disc, a kyber ore, and a power unit. We'll come back. <laughs> Actually, wait a minute. It almost seems like I can go there to the left somehow. Can't even drop down. Okay. Odd. Because it looks like I should be able to go there to the left. Hmm. Sir, I was glitching out. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, this is something. So what am I grabbing again? First off, let's grab that. Thank God I saw that. Oh, I get it. Well, first off, you know what we can grab because, like, it'll be, like, red or green. Or it'll... It'll even tell you, like, grab. So. I guess I can, I can go to the right or left. I'm trying to see if there's anything else here. Something's gonna go in here. I don't know what yet. Or I think it's like a battery unit or something. Okay. Nothing? Okay. Oh, this looks promising. Oh, shoot. Uh, can I, I... Power unit dispenser online. Please insert wire plate sheet. Jesus, like, there's like always something. Could easily, I guess, block all that, but I don't know. Like, I'm fine without doing so. I mean, we level up, you know, so I guess there's no harm doing this. That wasn't terrible. Oh, wait, Hex Shield. Uh, now it. It does blow up, or I don't, I don't know what exactly happened, but now it's not there, so... Okay. Mm. I just want to get rid of that. 
I don't know if he's gonna do anything because he has that shield on. Did he gain 101? Jeez, so like when it has that shield, it sucks. I have my saws. Wow, yeah, that that sucks. There's a lot of hits you gotta do to that thing in order for uh, to break its shield. I I'd imagine if you guys don't want to deal with that, you gotta destroy that thing right away. Well, the enemies are gone, but here's what I'm curious about. If I go back and go back in, it's currently off, so that's good. Um, I wonder if saving would have done anything. Would have done anything differently. Uh, hello. I guess I can't do anything, or I can't like jump up to these things just yet. So. Check out this. We need that wire plate, whatever. Well, if I had the pick, I mean, we'll do this. Deal damage to both enemies. And one of them will just break the lock. Oh, no. So the, you are the one who puts on the hex shield, not the other thing. I mean, that's just annoying. Ow. I swear, if you do that damn thing again... I missed that it had a solar thing to it, so... I was able to break that lock, and I just completely missed it. There's gotta be a better way to handle that. Yeah, I'm not taking any chances. At least we got the level up. Ugh. Oh, Garl, I'm like, we're not gonna be able to see you with this anymore. Uh, let's see. Three and three. Three and two. Three and three. So, let's get your magic defense up, huh? Roshan, what do we have for you? Your magic attack would be nice. Four and two. Three and three. Or three and three. I mean, I can have her. I can have his physical attack go all the way up to 91. That magic attack is super tempting, though. There we go. Screw it. Sarai, what do we have for you? And I, I ignore the hit points because, like, I feel like we do okay without having ever upgrading this. So that's just that's my strategy, you know, or my thinking. But anyone, you guys can do anything you want. Um. Her magic attack is the lowest. I mean, I do use a Venom thing pretty extensively with her, so... so we got physical defense, magical defense. And the physical defense, the physical attack is the lowest, so... I want her magic attack to go up. It's at 77. We use that definitely way more than anything else, but... All right. Three gold, thank you. Ooh, sashimi. Ah, oh, there's a blueprint disc. Eggs. Okay. Um. So. Oh, I can move that up. Once again, 
it doesn't look like I could. Or it didn't look like I could, so that's why I was like wondering what I need to do here. Jesus. Ooh, Kyber Steel Daggers. That would have been nice to have in the last fight. Plus five attack, plus three magical attack. Okay. We're just getting uh, upgrades left and right. Ooh, that was some treasure I completely missed. So, was there something in the middle I completely missed? Alright, let's reset this. Yeah, there was. No, damn it. There's the wire plate sheet that we needed. I was wondering, I'm like, crap, don't I need that for the other room? Okay. The enemies are still gone, so that's good. There you go. Processing complete. Please retrieve, retrieve, or complete a power unit. Boink. Power unit! So now we need the Kyber Mesh something or another, if I'm not mistaken. We, we got the disc. We got the power unit. So now it's just a matter of one last thing. I think after I'm done with this section of the factory, I'll go ahead and call it an episode. I know we're past an hour, but I'm just so thoroughly enjoying this right now. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Mm. Oh, hold on. Yeah. I'm going to go back and... uh heal up, considering it's right here. Might as well save as well. So what does it say again? Kyber Mesh Battery. So that's what we need to grab, and we need to use that here. Okay. It's all coming to fruition. Let's see what enemies we got here. Hey, okay. Super first off. Always go after these damn drones. We've learned that they're the ones who cast those stupid hex shields, and that just will prolong a battle for way too damn long. There. Yes, the turn is going to get that heat spin attack on me, but if I pick the better of two evils there, there you go. I'd rather just get that out of the way. Actually, the plasma saws aren't, aren't too terrible to get rid of. Get out of here. Let's look at the timing mix up for that. Destroy this thing. Perfect. It's like so damn dark, though. Who puts an onion in that? Who? What? Is, who's building what in here? See, I, I thought there was like a charge chest somewhere to the right, but no. Actually, I can't do it. I thought this, I thought this whole area was open. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Hold on, hold on a minute. If I do this... Oh, no, I had to do that. I thought that was a shimmying thing on the right, but no, no, I, I did the right thing. That is super convenient. Let's make a whole new uh, thing for us there. You know what? You're a little hurt. There we go. I mean, this damn laser is precise. Holy crap. There's the Kyber ore. Huh. 
All right, that was a lot more simple than I thought. So, I'm glad that worked out as needed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I did say that once we finished off the, that other section of the, um, of the factory there, I was going to call it. So, next time we will move up to grab like, the new like battery unit so we can progress further into this uh, factory. Like, I'm still just like, wow, like, just about like everything that's happened. Losing Garl is terrible. Then finding out, like, how to access the Sea of Stars is like, what? And then coming here and it's all, like, technological post-apocalyptic and freaking Sarai is a cyborg. What? I don't know. I like it. I can, I'm, I can almost guarantee there's people out here who are not going to be fond of this, but, you know, still a great game as it once was, you know? And th to me, this just makes the story like a little more intriguing. Like when something completely out of left field that you weren't aware was gonna go towards. But uh, well, there we are. So, as usual, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time for Let's Play Sea of Stars. Love you all so much. Don't forget to spread that love around. Have a great day, everybody.